seven months. We've been living aboard our catamaran wanderlust for seven months. It has been a period of adjustment, learning, discomfort, growth, frustration, joy, accomplishment, and excitement for the adventure that's right around the corner. A veritable seesaw of emotions. But most importantly, we feel alive. We are fully experiencing life and immersing ourselves in the beautiful world around us. And that's all we can ask for. And we're sharing our journey with you to inspire you to live life with intention. Each day that passes is one less that we have to live our dreams. And so we have chosen a life of adventure. We don't know what your dreams are, but whatever they are, we encourage you to pursue them one small step at a time. An alternative lifestyle is within reach. Whether it's on a boat or in a van or in a short-term rental around the world, the life you've dreamed of is waiting for you. The most important thing we've learned is to manage our resources. Fuel for cooking, water for showering and drinking, waste in space, and of course, internet access. Rethinking simple everyday tasks like laundry or grocery shopping. Through this, we've realized a closer connection with the environment, how each action impacts the earth and how we can minimize our footprint. I forgot, Fab. I forgot that I can't make coffee and blow dry my hair at the same time. Will you turn off the coffee maker? Okay. All right. 212 volt GPOs on. It should work now. Thanks. Kristen, the holding tank is full on starboard. You can use the port side. Oh no. Okay, so things to do today. Call to have the boat pumped out, number one. Flash the water maker, clean the port water tank, laundry, grocery shopping, reset the antenna so Hopefully the Wi-Fi starts working again and clean the boat. Oof. This is a long list. I better get going.
then this lever. All right, it's working. Perfect. Hey Siri, set the timer for five minutes. All right, five minutes are up. We can stop back flushing the water maker. So just turn this gray lever, put it back to service, and we're good to go. We get this green cord. There's not like a whole lot of light here. There is some water in the bottom. It looks like there's something that was causing a rust stain in there. attachment to the vacuum so now I'm gonna have to do some maneuvering to try and get it back I definitely need a tool well I can't get the vacuum extension out right now so I am just going to try and suction up the rest of the water in there and then figure out how I'm gonna get that out Okay, so it looks quite clean right now. Looks like I got pretty much all of the water out, so I think I'm done here for now, aside from trying to get out the vacuum extension. Um, but next job on my list is to clean out the bilge. When you live in a house, you have to clean out your basement, and when you live in a boat, you have to make sure that your bilge is nice and clean. As you can see, there's water here. The water pump, the port side for the port tank is right here and so basically when we work on this water pump even though we try and catch the water in a bucket it typically some of it ends up in this bilge so i've just got to vacuum that out to have a washing machine on board and we're super happy that we have this washer dryer combo unit it allows us to conveniently do laundry whenever we want we're now in the forward cabin on the port side of the boat and on laundry days this has become our drying room I've got my freshly washed load of laundry my clothesline I'm gonna run my clothesline and hang the laundry to dry haven't perfected the technique and I definitely need some clips so I'm gonna find creative places around the boat to hang the rest of the laundry get up stretch my legs eat some breakfast look at eggs brush my teeth up wash my face mm -mm, mm -mm. start my day wake up get up stretch my legs Whoa. Looks like a pair of Fabio's underwear got stretched, man. 
That dryer really did melt the elastic. That's so crazy. I can smell the smoke from the bacon. Look at the difference in size. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> we definitely can't dry underwear in there anymore. Okay. I know that today will be a good day. These are gonna have to go. This one goes in here. Then the closet. Okay. Yesterday there was sun. It's a bit full. Hmm. Let's take a look at the other one. bit of space here. I think we can make this work. Let's Set the antenna. Get my handy little clip or pen, really. Let's see, okay. So here it is, reset. Five, two, six, two, seven, eight, two, nine, three. I don't remember how long I'm supposed to do it for, but hopefully that's enough. Okay, still got red. Red is now blinking, blue. Let's see, ooh. Green, no more red, one blue, okay. Still one blue, um, all right. Maybe I'll just leave this for the moment and see what happens. Two blues. The red is back. Red is back. Huh. Maybe it'll turn green. Okay. All right. How to reset red port halo antenna. Hmm. <sighs> Wi-Fi off because it's obviously not working. Set up. I don't need set up. Looks like this is going to take a little longer than I have right now. I'll have to come back to this.
burdens left behind I did not know what it would bring Now I'm capable of everything While everyday tasks that you barely even think of in a traditional lifestyle have become things we need to be mindful of, we are rewarded with incredible beauty, peace, and most of all, fulfillment and the knowledge that we're making the most of our time here. And time, that's the most precious resource of all. really help us if you'd give this video a thumbs up, leave us a comment down below, subscribe, and share it with a friend. We'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.